WandaVision has finally premiered. And while it may seem like a fun family sitcom, if Kevin Feige is to be believed though, I think it's actually leading to one of the darkest moments in the MCU. The moment when Doctor Strange will have to take Wanda out permanently for the sake of the universe itself. We are in uncharted waters. If the first few episodes of WandaVision have proven anything, it's that all is not well in the town of Westview. The show has played its cards pretty close to the vest this far, but from what we've seen, it's clear that the townsfolk of Westview are somehow trapped in a Nick at Night fantasy land. There could be many different reasons for this, ranging from theories on Agatha Harkness, Sword, and Mephisto. But one option seems most likely. It seems very likely that Wanda Maximoff is somehow in the control of the environment, whether she realizes it or not. In Infinity War, Wanda had to obliterate her robot boyfriend and her only living connection to the world, Vision. Then seconds later, Wanda had to watch as Thanos brought him back to life only to take him away yet again. Before this moment, she had to live through the end of her family due to a rogue Stark missile, endured Hydra experimentation that gave her powers, saw her brother get taken down by Ultron, and she blew up an embassy leading to international turmoil. So yeah, she's not had the greatest life so far. The only thing that kept her grounded through all of this was Vision's companionship. The two spent the years between Civil War and Infinity War together and were prepared to start a life together. Once the events of Endgame played out, it looks like they got exactly that, despite the fact that Vision was a big metal corpse. In the comics, Wanda had the ability to alter reality itself. It's quite possible that she lost her mind over Vision's demise and has bent existence itself to remedy her pain. Now the entire town of Westview is likely trapped in her fantasy world. That's bad enough to get a sword investigation, but it's not quite an Avengers level threat just yet. That's why I think the series will have a dark ending, where Wanda knowingly returns her and the people of Westview back into her fantasy world. Not only that, but I think the phenomenon will likely grow, consuming more people into her own private TV land. If left unchecked, the entire planet Earth could end up being bewitched, full house, or modern family for all eternity. If the world ever turns into Dharma and Greg, well, I say we call Thanos to finish off what he started, huh? If I had to pick an Avenger to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Wanda, someone like Captain Marvel would be pretty high on my list. During Endgame, Wanda and Captain Marvel were the only ones who gave Thanos that face I make when I see a spider scurry under my bed right before I go to sleep. The only problem is, is I think the second Captain Marvel enters Westview, she'd stop being a Kree-trained superhero and would turn into the new neighbor Carol, who can cook dinner with just her hands. That's why Doctor Strange is the only hero who could possibly handle Wanda's shenanigans. The good doctor could likely create some sort of spell or defensive technique that would protect him from becoming one of the cast of Pleasantville. He would likely have to play along just a little bit in order to get close to Wanda. Watching Doctor Strange have to pretend to be Westview's newest surgeon, Steven, would be worth the price of admission alone. Please bring Wong and Mordo along to witness this mess. When Strange finally does get close with Wanda, it likely won't go well. As much as I love Strange, he's not a hero known for subtlety. Uh, okay. He's quite a lot like Tony Stark in that he usually goes into a situation and figures out how he'll handle it as he goes. This time, he doesn't have the time stone to spoil several million seasons of WandaVision until he finds a series finale that works well for everybody. It's likely that he'll overplay his hand, and Wanda's reality-breaking breakdown will only get worse. She could very well end up fracturing the multiverse itself, thrusting Strange into the titular multiverse of madness we were promised. No one realized that that madness was Wanda's all along. If Doctor Strange 2 takes any cues from WandaVision, the good doctor might find himself in dozens of different movies and television genres that are constantly shifting around him. He could interact with other famous wizard franchises like loving homages to film series like Harry Potter and The Lord of the Rings. Strange could find himself looking like Gandalf or suddenly teaching defense against the dark arts. What would be more interesting though if Strange found himself in his own dream world, one where he was never in that car accident that ruined his life. He could wake up to find himself as the world's most renowned surgeon married to Christine Vale, without a single wizard or interdimensional monster to be seen. Strange would have to face his own version of WandaVision, and would truly understand that nothing he says or does will ever be enough to make her voluntarily leave the fantasy behind. This time there's no trick or strategy he can pull out of nowhere to save the day. He will have to end Wanda for good. Holy moly CBR, you just got dark. Strange will then hop through the multiple universes until he finally finds Wanda again. Her and Vision will likely be in some sort of fortress filled with armies from across the multiverse as she feels threatened by Strange's prior attack. 
This time he will have to bring everything he's got in order to make it to Wanda. Is that everyone? Like you wanted more? We know that Strange has leveled up significantly since the first movie, but we don't know the full extent of it. This will be the moment where he truly proves he's the most supreme sorcerer supreme of all time. After he battles his way to Wanda and Vision, he will be forced to use a spell he never thought he would. Strange will be forced to wipe all of Wanda's memories, effectively terminating her. Vision and her family would be erased from existence. Strange would then implant a new identity in Wanda's mind and return her home to Sokovia, where she could potentially live the happy life of her dreams, unburdened by her powers and pain. Only there would be a small hint that even Wanda knows something's off. A clock ticking counting down to the next time Wanda loses control and needs to be stopped.